Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Start when I'm holding my phone still. I purposely picked these times. Gotta show Allie in all her glory. Look mm -hmm. how, I mean, like, look, right? Right? We um, always do these at night when I'm like sweats, like the day has <laughs> took it its toll. <laughs> One time we'll do it like fresh in the morning. I don't know. I don't know if we will. These girls are <laughs> right. We these, probably will. These girls are insane. We probably will. So this morning I had one of the most interesting conversations at work. It was not work related though, uh, with a friend that I met um, at, at work at like a at a conference. We talked about Neil Young and his passion for Neil Young, and he he taught me about like like his history a little bit. Okay. So he on the Rolling Stone top 100 songwriters of all time, he's number 17. Okay. Okay. Like Bob Dylan's number one. Right? Oh, so, really? Okay. Uh, Paul McCartney was number two. Yeah. I feel like that was a little high, but like, but at the same time, he's written amazing songs. So, okay, whatever. He's also on the top 30 or top 40 guitarists list. Okay. So he's just everywhere. So he's really talented. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really don't know. So he's probably songs. I'm, I'm like, sure oh, you, I know this. I'm song, sure you because know. your dad showed me right. Neil, like um, Crosby, Stills and Nash. Okay. There, it's also been Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. Like Neil Young was right. also part of their group. Like they all were a thing. I mean, so this guy is just, um, he's a di like, he's just a diehard musician. He never yeah. really like tried to get his stuff more famous than, he, than it needed to be. He just wanted to write the stuff, record them and Let see what go. happened. Yeah. And, and I just love that kind of, that kind of attitude. And yeah. he's also considered what Mark told me. He's considered the grandfather of grunge. Huh? So like oh. Kurt Cobain, all those guys love Neil Young, and he even did some songs with like Pearl Jam. That's cool. like interesting. So because yeah. his guitar playing, he he kind of made like heavier rock too. Okay, but he came from this right like this folks like kind of this folksy yeah. writing. Yeah, jo like er so. What was he just was a cool chameleon? About, yeah. What was cool about this conversation is that it was already infectious. I didn't listen to a Neil Young song, and I was already You're like, he's the best. <laughs> and so the thing that he told me to watch out for, which I was like, no problem here. He brought up Neil Young. Like a lot of people sometimes clown on his voice and stuff. I'm like, those have been the voices that in this channel we've mm -hmm. liked the most, right? Mm -hmm. Like we talked about it on the James Taylor video that we're trying to get back up, by the way. Um. Like he had a humble voice yeah and for some reason that made you pay more attention to the lyrics because it was like real right yeah it wasn't like an overly overly trained yeah like there yeah. was something something about it right so neil young has that something similar so this is okay, old man um live yeah we're gonna go we're gonna go live yeah you just go through the comments people love this yeah. Oh, look at this comment here at the top. My my 103 year old mom just died yesterday. Spent a lot of time with her at the residence over the last years. And one of the things we really enjoyed was playing this song and singing along together. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Neil Young's in three. Wow. That's a that means I still got X number of years. To go. <laughs> a lot of them. You got like 80 something years to go, babe. Not that long. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for well, coming to hang out. Just had like a mortality no yeah. <laughs> like wait <laughs> it's a good healthy thing to think about sometimes um guys thank you so much for coming hang out with us we're anxious for y'all to guide us through more neil young we're uh, like it's a it's a rabbit hole i definitely want to go down wow I'm, I'm having a hard time saying this right but whatever <laughs> you said it right okay neil young old man take it away old man <laughs> my life I'm a lot like you were Oh man look at my life I'm a lot like you were Oh man look at my life Twenty-four and there's so much more Live alone in a paradise That makes me think of two Love lost such a cost 
Give me things that don't get lost Like a coin that won't get tossed Rolling home to you Sounds like a completely different song here for the chorus. Oh man, take a look at my life I'm a lot like you I need someone to love me the whole Okay. I feel like his voice is really. Impressive. I feel like it's incredible voice. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what you were talking about, Mark. <laughs> um, that's a beautiful voice. Yeah. Yeah, like it's high. Yeah, like, but but I, I feel like he's got great control. But it actually, I do feel right. He this, he still does have that quality Kinda of like it's not rustic. overly yeah it's not oh. it's it's like a real yeah. high voice it's like it's his voice yeah. and and so you're you listen to him um his guitar playing with the singing is a like it sounds like a very chill basic it that's a hard song yeah to play and sing at the same time so why, i can already see why what, is it um the tempos that he's playing on the hand don't really match the singing well Okay. And so it's it's like it's like harmonizing with yourself. Right, but because of that he's there's a reason he's the legend he is. Yeah. Like I, I, and it's just it's so cool that I only li need to listen to that like that much to to kind of get it. Yeah. Like it's like okay, wow. Yeah, yeah. For for some reason I can also hear like a Yeah, I can see how he like the grandfather of grunge and also that hard rock. I can see yeah. he has like the rocker high yeah, the voice like, and scream. So I I can see him being totally. a Totally. Like going into that chorus. Yeah. There. Yeah. That was amazing. That chorus. Give me the givers. It's something that used to happen in music be before Lullabies, more. You can see he changed the tempo of the song. And we just don't do that now. Town. Our music's Doesn't too easy. Doesn't mean that much to me, to mean that much to you. I've been first and last. Look at how the time goes past But I'm all alone at last Rolling home to you Oh man, take a look at my life I'm a lot like you I can also hear Axl Rose, Guns N' Roses, right? Is that those chords he was just playing? Oh man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you were. Oh man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you were. That's so interesting. I've, I've just been paying attention to the words more in the chorus. Oh man, look at my life. Yeah, I pay attention more to the words than, than the, the guitar, guitar player. Yeah. I don't know anything. Yeah, his guitar player was, to me, memorizing. What stood out to you in the words? Uh, I was just trying to figure out what it was about. It seems to me it was kind of about um, generations relating. Yeah. You know, old man, young man, like we have a lot of similarities in our lives. And yet, but then at the same time, differences. So it, it, to me, it sounds like the singer is asking for this man's advice in a way or... Or acceptance. Accept yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, uh, I don't know, there was this meme going around uh, just the past few days, like, oh, uh, millennials have seen, uh, yeah. you know, 9-11. All and, these things. And and all these things. Like, the crazed person. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, if you were born in the 1910s, you went through World War One, World War Two, oh. Vietnam, the JFK Depression. assassination, the depression. So it's like, so yeah, we're have like, us millennials, I guess, are seeing hard things, but... Everyone does. Yeah, but... So because of that, though, comparing myself to someone like that, right, yeah. who went through those th those times, yeah, I don't know. You 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 kind of imagine having a sim like this conversation, like, yeah, yeah, that's a good example. So so I I can't. I, I it feels like some of it is advice, guys. Comment down below, like. 
correct us as we're wrong. You're right. Um, first time listening to this, but love lost such a cost. Give me things that don't get lost, like a coin that won't get tossed rolling home to you. Wow, that's mm. yeah, we don't we don't have like I feel like we just don't have like poets like we used to, you know? Or like Yeah, like I feel like this too. the lyrics like I can't just read them and like know. Yeah. I would have to like study them and think about it because they seem very, yeah, poetic and and metaphorical. Yeah. Kind of, it seems like a lot of it's about needing love. Yeah. Like everyone needs love in their life, like a true. Here's some uh, fun facts. The caretaker of Neil Young's ranch was the inspiration for this song. He lived there when Young bought the ranch. Okay. During the recording. So he's the old man. So the old man, it's like, it's almost like a, a I, I, for some reason, it reminds me of like the, a Bruce Wayne Alfred, yeah, relationship. Yeah, like he trusts Alfred with everything. Yeah. Like during the James Taylor played the banjo for this song. Cool. The banjo was tuned to sound like a guitar. How about that? Interesting. So that, but that was just him. This is the live. Yeah, yeah, this was live. Uh, yeah, yeah. During the recording session, the drummer was required by Young to play only with his left hand to not use the hi hat. Mm. What's that mean? The hi hat. Um, I, I'm not a drummer. I I, I want I want to describe it well. Um, okay, so you have all of these like I don't know what the words are in English. <laughs> <laughs> the hi hat. Okay. It's it's high. All right. And, and it's part of the drum. You know, don't hear. Don't hit it. Why wouldn't you want to use that? And why? I don't would, know. I want to. Why would it. playing with only your left let's, hand make that happen? Let's. Uh, <laughs> We're only gonna do a sneak peek at the original because I'm curious. I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna just move Let's into like in a little bit. I'm gonna move into like minute one or something in the streets. Yeah, not how we talk in the suburbs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, I prefer the acoustic though. I do prefer that that version. You like acoustics? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. That's cool. I I'm excited for this one for for Neil Young. Yeah. To check him out. I feel like a yeah. I feel I, I feel like I'm always prepared for the next thing that impacts me so yeah this is exciting yeah. all right guys this is genre uh, not, not genre like generation of music we'll probably i think iconic forever like, yeah yeah you, you were gonna say something different i cut you off though oh i was just gonna say i think that there would be a lot there that you would like mm. yeah yeah but i needed to be older to appreciate it i think yeah yeah so yeah, yeah. Well, guys, there it is. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, check out the description down below to find ways to support and, you know, sponsor videos and help out the, the channel. Uh, we got merch now down there. And that's, uh, yeah, that's it. That's, Thank about, you. that's about it. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs>